For more, we are joined by Steve Vermont, Managing Director of Life Science China at Merck. Thank you very much for joining us in Thank our beautiful you. studio here on The Bun. But you're no stranger to Shanghai. I've been so. here a decade already. All right, so let's talk about uh, the expo and the pandemic and medical companies, you know, all coming together really at a, at a very important time. So much of the world seeing a second wave, not here in China, thankfully. Um, but really, this is an opportunity for what you see for in terms of medical providers, companies, people that are making products to be used potentially within this pandemic. How important is this moment right now at the expo in that way? I think this is very critical, and I, 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 we had the honor to be invited to be part of this Codiv Hall in the CIE, which shows all the players to try to solve this pandemic issue. Uh, the, the, the challenge ever is we have to make sure we keep priority on security and safety for the patients, whatever the new drugs coming, and, and the race, the speed to develop those new, new drugs are critical. So all the players are, are now working together. This is a very collaboration game where the supplier, the manufacturer, the government are working together to really make sure there is a solution coming as soon as possible. And I, I think this is probably the most fundamental change we can see. And the CIE is there to really highlight who are the players and a lot of discussion around a lot of awareness, discovery from everyone to how you have this product. I think it's very interesting. And how international is that collaboration? Yes, it's true because this is not about China. It's about global pandemic. Right. China has probably done uh, pretty good job to control, but you still need a solution. And, and uh, you see that all the international companies are really exchanging globally, but also with China, a lot of collaboration, licensing. Uh, we are also supplier for everywhere to make sure that in the end there is a solution. And I, I, I think this is probably a fundamental move uh, for, for, for this situation to when it's time we have to be together. You know, something we were just chatting about just a little bit earlier kind of looks at sort of the lessons learned, right, through, through all of 2020 here um, across the world. What do you think is really the biggest lesson learned? And moving forward, I mean, we are still in this thing. I mean, the world is in it together, whether, you know, there are some countries in the world still battling it, some that are coming out of it. Everyone's still got to be in it together, right, um, to sort of get this global economy back up and running anyway. So what, what, what do you think is something that moving forward needs to be done based on lessons we've learned throughout the year? So in the world of digitalization with a lot of data, yeah. we still didn't have the opportunity to predict it. So uh, prediction is nice, but readiness is important. So I think the problem is... The world was not ready for this. Mm. And I think the first step is to really think about how can, be, can we be more ready or faster to be ready to prevent or to overcome such global situation because it's global. I think this is probably the big lesson to learn. China has been learning by the, the SARS uh, 13 years ago and implementing quickly something they have learned already. But the rest of the world never had this big event, maybe 2008 with the flu uh, pandemic. So I, I think it's probably the first one. The second element I will raise is about uh, accepting that sometimes wearing a mask sounds to be very basic, but so powerful to solve the problem. And, and, and it's linked with maybe the understanding of why the mask could be so powerful. Basic scientific understanding, yeah. awareness needs to really be uh, fast-tracked <laughs> if we can really conquer this. Yeah, I think a, a global education or a global program to explain basic elements why it works and why uh, sometimes we'll have to wear a mask if it's coming again. Absolutely. All right, Steve Vermont, Managing Director of Life Science China at Merck. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much.